Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshi, Malaysian, Indonesian, Arab, all sorts of food here. Welcome to Life Moves. I'm Saeed Mahmoud. We are in Masjid Al Haram in Mecca. So, where do you get food which doesn't cost that much but good and in good quantity as well? And you come to this shopping center. Here you can find good quality food for only about 10 rials per person. This is a great place. I'll tell you where exactly it is and how you can get here. It takes only about three minutes to get here from the Haram. It's very close by. I'll tell you exactly where it is. But before that, let's have a look at some of the food that is available here. Prices at all the restaurants are not as little as the ones that I showed you just now. Let me show you some other examples where the prices are a bit more. Uh, mango, di kijana kaise lana? Mango, mango fifteen. Hmm. Uh, mango one please. one mango. You don't make it now, fresh? Fresh one. Okay. Ten, medium ten. Oh, okay, large. Third, large. Can you get large? Can you get large? Large. 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 Hey, So we are inside Al Safwa Tower. There's a lot of food choices here, as you can see, plenty of restaurants. All the countries from where people come to Umrah have their cuisines here. Indian, Pakistani, Bangladeshi, Malaysian, Indonesian, Arab, all sorts of food here. Uh, priced very reasonably, much less compared to anything that you'd find in the clock tower, which is uh, where uh, a lot of people stay. We are staying in clock tower as well, but we do feel that in order to have good food at a reasonable price, we are always happy to come here to this shopping center near very near just uh, maybe about three three minutes walk from the haram a very good location and plenty of good food from all different countries and brilliant options so we are buying some juice from here and we bought all the uh, bangladeshi food before we're going to have that go back to the hotel and enjoy our meal this is a shopping center that is called al safwa you can see the name written there al safwa Here is the Haram, right in front of it is the clock tower, right there, the huge structure, you can't miss it. 
and right there is the toilet number three men's toilet three and you turn right from there and you go to the shopping center that i was talking about just now here you will find everything that we described there is haram right there as you can see you can also use as a marker al safwa royal orchid hotel and on this side you have dar al ayman royal hotel so in between those two you'll find the entrance and there you'll find pharmacies you'll find money exchange and the best thing for me is uh, the food you get bangladeshi food pakistani food malaysian food all of that at a very reasonable price for example you can get uh, food for four people for around just 40 riyals and that's really good compared to especially compared to the fancy restaurants in the clock tower this is much less expensive it costs much less and you get a good quantity and good quality as well so that's brilliant and uh, I, we have always uh, come here every day and you can check this out as well. I hope you found that video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, I'd love to hear from you. Your comments has me, helped me as well because they boost the video up on YouTube. So that would be great. And if you have not already subscribed, please subscribe for more videos from around the world. Particularly, I'm focusing on the Islamic world traveling many Muslim countries. So stay tuned for much more coming from all around the world. I'll see you in the next video. Happy traveling.